What is no-code? Why is it gaining in popularity? How do no-code devs and programmers work together? Is this the future? How will AI play a role? And how many other questions can I answer in this short video about the no-code movement? Let's start with the basics. What is no code development. Some examples are WordPress, Shopify, Bubble, Wix.com, and the list goes on. They're usually sold as a service, a no code solution that makes it possible to quickly spin up an answer to whatever problem you are trying to solve. It's tailored directly to your needs by using templates and graphical design elements that make it easy for you to design the solution you want. You don't need to write any code to get your answer, but you do sacrifice some complexity by relying on these templated design elements. But as you might guess, this is the reason why it's gaining in popularity. For companies to be able to spin up very quickly and test an idea or enter a market before their competition, or just bootstrap an idea without needing to pay for the high development costs of hiring programmers in the long time frame that it takes to develop something from code. No code solutions have a place and they are very interesting. But what does it mean for programmers who do write code? Should we be worried? I think ultimately no. No code solutions have their limits. It's very unlikely they will take over the gaming industry anytime soon, since their main drawbacks are that they are very cookie cutter, to be honest. They use templates, they solve specific problems in the same way for many different customers. It makes it difficult to create something truly unique. So programmers will still have an edge here. If you are writing real code, I think you're going to be fine. Because if a company needs a unique solution or if someone wants to stand out from the crowd, a customized solution is still the way to go and you will need a programmer to get there. My guess is we're gonna see no code solutions being a great place to start a project or prove an MVP, basically reach critical mass. But once you've proven your project has viability, the need to differentiate itself from the competition will push it towards more customized solutions. How can and how does machine learning play a role in this? Envision a future where you can create generic apps or one-off projects simply by entering a request into a text box, like we're doing with ChatGPT. As no-code solutions become standardized on templates and standard workflows, I don't think it's going to take much effort to teach computer models to generate a perfect starting solution from a basic text-based input. The output of these AI-built apps may be basic, and they're likely going to still require the human touch to make their user experience more friendly to human users. But will no-code solutions do anything revolutionary? Will it unlock something that we aren't able to do just through programming? And this is an interesting question, as I think the big advantage of no-code solutions is the ability to iterate through ideas with very minimal cost. Combine this with the possibility of using machine learning to accelerate this iteration means we can test more and more ideas than ever before. So with the sheer volume of ideation available to us through no-code solutions combined with machine learning, we may be able to find something revolutionary, something we've never thought of just through trial and error. However, if my assumption about these no-code solutions being simple starting points proves to be true, uh, these ideas will be difficult to find, and they may not actually break any ground that a dedicated team solving a unique, difficult problem would otherwise solve. So, is this the future? Are no-code solutions going to take over the world? And like I said earlier, I do think we're heading down a road where the no-code solution removes barriers to entry for app creation. For anyone without a CS degree, it makes it possible to get started. It makes it possible to test that idea out with other people. It makes it possible to get your MVP off the ground. And I think that is going to unlock some doors. However, as I've talked about in this video, the problems with no-code solutions are that they're going to be very samey, templatized, they're going to be standardized, and it's going to make it difficult for even the best ideas to look different from somebody else's. And even if you have a great idea, 
it's going to be very easy to knock it off. And additionally, I think more complex problems will continue to require a more traditional coded solution for a long time to come, particularly in the gaming industry, which is very story-based driven and is going to require a lot of complex human thought to be put into. So there will be a role for programmers. There will be a role for no-code development. It will bring us in a direction where we as consumers will have more solutions available to us and ultimately be able to pick and choose what we want to use. So what are your thoughts on no code? Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for watching all the way through. Give it a like to help the YouTube algorithm know that it was good and recommend it to other people. And I will see you in the next video. Maybe check out this one.